Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, living, and amazing, spectacular wonders propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one that you must have propaganda, and Basil the Kitty Cat. Off here to one me one on uh, famous on it uh, Angerville, Angerville. God damn, it's been so long since I've been a play on this map. There, been so long. But an Angerville here with Alpen in the South, funding for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the. Oh, let's just go with. What do you think, Basil? What do you think? Basil thinks the Sperrverband of von Sauken. Here with Ostrom Doctrine, Infantry, Panzerfaust, Panzergrenadiers versus Jimmy with Urban Defense, Guard Motor, and so it is with Infantry and Shock Troopers. We got Double Ostrom there for Alpen. We got con Double Comps there for Jimmy. Standard stuff there so far. Standard stuff. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters, these wondrous champions of the propaganda cards keep in the business. You two can join the ranks by pledging on page. You can also just consider donating. And I should have comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button to keep the YouTube algorithm from tearing off my face in the middle of the night. We got double loss from Ninja 4 2 versus double country. Triple soon on the way there. Digging in here by the western point. Elpin's probably going to go for at least one more Ostrop and squad here. Because they're being suppressed by the Ninja 4 2 Pioneers closing in. Nice little tactical combination there. They work nicely together because the pioneers can spot from the machine gun, but also then once the machine can suppress the target, the pioneers can quickly move in and sort of sweep up the target. Third awesome squad there for Elpen. Eastern point they've been captured. Ostrom covered a wide variety, shall I say, of uh, Eastern, in air quotes, volunteers in the German army. You had uh, many there, typically from Eastern Europe, but apparently people from the Alsace Lorraine region, when they captured them, were French, were apparently also considered Ostrom for some Bizarre reason. We got MD4 sitting up here. As the war went on, they'd be considered less and less reliable because it was time to become apparent the Germans were losing, so they were quick to typically desert or surrender more easily, so they would increasingly be shifted uh, towards free line purposes, but known as Hilfsvilliger instead. To sort of basically just pull supply line duties, freeing up troops to the front line. We got a fourth con squad there for Jimmy, Ostroming Hat here, so better skirmishing there. West side here, we got Constantly about there for Jimmy. East side here, Ostroming up the flank here versus Jimmy's engineers. Ostrom get a chance here to overwhelm them. In the center here, we got Ostrom as the conscripts. Pioneers flying away as well. Many Ostrom were not quite volunteers that could also be made up of like, you know, prisoners of war from war, you know, war camps in the Eastern Front where they were typically treated so poorly that, you know, fighting for the Germans seems typically like a much better idea. Ostrom there, sneaking about on the west side. Grab the car point there. Back there, check down for Elpen. Front big squad, we get the Ostrom by the car point there. Better a rough start there for Elpen in some... Oh, for Jimmy in some ways. Elpen's actually a pretty good start here. Going for the sandbags there on the western few point. Very good. Nice idea. Ostrom actually losing out to the engineers. That's a... Uh, bit of a story to tell the grandchildren about, I suppose. Can't trust the pioneers still. Probably could pop up and deal with them, but he might be worried about machine and hanging back there. In the west, the Ostrom line to issues with the conscript. Could be easily routed here, not straight there for Elpen. Ostrom losing up to the conscripts there. In fact, a lot of engagements are not quite working out there for Elpen at the moment now. we got Panzers on the way though. Very good. The Panzer Grenadier. Ostrom's caught there. Finally getting the conscripts back off with the rather the pioneers. And you thought we to find out here, the flank is exposed there. Jimmy knows this, and Elpen will soon regret leaving the machine and unattend it like that. Here, the Ostrom are steadily losing out. Down to two men on health. Pines of flank hook the country, backed up by the few remaining Ostrom. Pines can squat on the way there for Elpen. So that will certainly give him some firepower to the country. It's very needed firepower for that matter. Very badly needed. Ostrom mounted the conscripts. West side, we got Pines to pursue the front of the flank hook the MP40s. Doing some nice damage, going for the car upon them, up the eastern victory point. Baggage route reinforcing. Pioneers dealing with the conscripts, slowly burning them out. We've got the Ostrom as the conscripts there. Panzer there firing away. Troop reinforcing healing. Bit tier, the pioneers finally push back the conscripts, taking sandbags, swift to ward off a counter attack. And we got Jimmy here with the support weapon Campania. Pants moving up in the calf point, Grammy some point, dug in as well there. Jimmy's now definitely starting to round the corner here against Elpen's Ostrom start. Sandbex in the west here as well, Pioneers retreating, so looks like both viewpoints will soon be socialist, which will definitely be a bit of a headache there for Elpen. 
got the car font back, though without anything for it to connect with. Oh, it doesn't really matter much for now. Comfortable they're falling back in the face of the punch gonna be this strong gear fear and field six pulls laying down a supreme rate of fire. Comfortable around here in the by the western fuel point. I'll put it narrowly keeping it out of the hands of Jimmy. Narrowly. Even then he still has to grab it back. Perhaps it was the conscripts. I think he needs to cap out like himself being bogged down. He like he needs to like sweep up as much terrain rather than try and like win certain particular engagements or swimming up here. We're probably better to have the Austin awesome switch in position than a lot of the Panzer then to free up again to like attack elsewhere. This definitely feels a bit of the reverse of how it should be, in my opinion. No further tech for Jimmy losing in the east of the Panther. He's definitely providing uh, Elkhorn there with some strike force capabilities. Ground Western Point, like to make a nice company up there for Elkhorn. Going for the 251, likely a flame for a half tech, the Flam Panzerwagen. Can't score what they're holding back. Additional fun fact about the Austrian, they actually had their own set of medals. <laughs> they couldn't get German medals, so they had to have like, like, their own medals, were more like badges. Additional also fun fact, they also used to, uh, well, Eastern Cavalry, Ost Cavalry, which were basically just cavalry versions of Austrian, the Teddy Cossacks and whatnot. They were primarily they're used in uh, security units and such. Far away from the front line most of the time, anyways. Little fun fact there as well. Mid rush and punch back away there. Flinking up here, worth knowing here the way he's quite wide to make it hard for your punches to cover that way. Half pin down to the ground, you should get in before two before it gets swiped. Boston Walsh in trouble. Half track rushing forwards here. Machine guns still not retreating. I'm guessing it's probably for the half track being forced then for quite pressure here. Bit risky there by open, to be honest. Bit risky. And we'll go forced to retreat in the end. Flam Panther on almost done. Anti tank in his research. We got the Panther flanking up behind here. And we see a full route here. Machine gun did go wipe there. Push your slug a bit too far there. Perhaps there's a other series of decisions there behind that though. Flame for half tech very deep. Finally, we got the Panther on the flank here. Theoretically, it could try for a bang grenade here, but uh, I don't think it's going to work out too well by now. No anti tank guns there. No tech yet either. We do get the anti tank guns there with a supply drop. Goes on another machine gun as well here. Grab the other one back with the pioneers. Flam Pan Vagin Hetty, direct head from the line to tank. So we got Herb Defense here, ever a popular one with the Fort Headquarters, the M4245 Atlanta tank gun, Shock Troopers, Booby Traps, and the KV2 Heavy Assault Tank. Grand Mission Fuel Pond here. Panzer Gunners holding up against a larger scale Soviet tank. Did you actually, I think, lay down the Bart while they were the Panzer Gunners? He might have done that. Flam Pan Vagin Head here. Line to tank is up here for Jimmy. Breaking on the flame for tech, back here to reinforcing healing. Push back. Doing some nasty damage. Nasty hit there, back here to reinforcing healing. Panzer Grenadiers have been promoted. To what? Uh. Sharper Panzer Grenadiers. Yahoo! Three cheers for the German promotion system. Machine holding up here. Troops in out there. Three full Austrian squads. Flam Panther on the repair. There were pioneers down to two men. That's going to be a bit slow there. Keep in mind that repair speed is, is determined just as much for the numbers in the units. So, for example, just two guys would appear much slower than, you know, four men in the squad. And this is also why you know, upgrading to a five man squad, for example, increases the repair speed as well. So, little detail there vis a vis, you know, this. This is definitely fairly inefficient for helping you probably better off just retreating them and pulling back the half tech that way, get it fixed up. We'll probably gain more time on that overall. Grand Western Fuel Point. Jimmy there, likely, I think, could push that for a fast T-70 here versus Elpen. And the Germans need cells from up here for the Sperrverband von Sauken. Needs to be finding their cover shadow by the Pack 40. Panzer Wing Head back up the Thumb Panzer Wagon. Austrian Grand Leeson Victory Point. Stand aside of tech there for Jimmy further. We do have the Shock Troops out there. Assault and gear specifically though. And the body armor was really only like for an urban warfare where there are much closer quarters, a lot more submachine guns and pistols, and not so many rifles and machine guns because the body armor really could only like stop a 9mm parabellum bullet, which means you know submachine guns, pistols, against rifles, and anything like you know powerful than that. The body armor wasn't particularly effective from my understanding, so little detail there. Doing what they can, we got the grenade exchange here. 
<laughs> Almost a full wipe down the pan's gonna be shocked with me while got mostly unscathed away from that one. M4 sitting up there. In the east here we got the flame pipe to try and deal with the Soviet infantry there, but at the same time tries to stay at respectful distance as not to get hit by an anti tank grenade. Machine gun holding up defending the western victory point. We got tech there for Elpen, very good, plus a medic bunker. As for Jimmy, we finally got tech up this road. But at this rate, the Elpen does seem to be set for a uh, fast piece of armor here versus Jimmy, which could definitely prove to be a bit of a headache for Jimmy. Shock was almost got the western fuel point. Plump hand running the head here. Certainly helps Elpen, he's got two machine guns, whereas Jimmy has none. Plump hand running for the shock troops, the body armor, of course, not made of asbestos as well. Got me some point, Austin dug in there. Continental fire here from the Ostrobin. Pani is popping into the shed and discovering there's nothing in it. Except poorly baked beans. Comes out as the Ostrobin on the machine gun. Quickly round in there. The MD 34 proved to be, of course, formidable as always. Grant me some fuel point there. Dug in. Oh, hasn't finished the Tango Chain Command. Oh dear. It's always a tricky one there. Always a tricky one if you're too much in a rush, you might not get it finished. And it seems to be the case here for Jimmy. I thought you finished it. No, I thought you finished it. Shut up, both of you. Or you can finish it in the gulag. Oh, oh, eh. Would you look at that? I suddenly feel a lot more cooperative. So will he go for the T-70 or will go for the mechanized armor company? That's the big question here for Jimmy. Okay, going for the T7, we're going to push Elpen now. Hope he can't push out, say, with the fast Duke, because theoretically Elpen could rush out Stuk in response to the T7, he pushed that into a very bad place. Chuck to moving westward, grab these some. Still dug in there. I mean, at this point, you might as well just have them build a machine gun bunk and just move ahead because this. Well, I mean, there are Ostrom, I guess, but you know, still. Okay, I'm going to do a lot of damage, six kills, half HP to two. Could consider laying down some mines, but it's got the munitions for it. Typically one of the advantages of Storm Dark Team should flow a lot of munitions for mines, but uh, Elpen seems to be not so interested in mines. Light tank ready for orders. Also missed the flame trap. Attack. The shock tools are flame trap attack. Don't miss guy. Looking like he might just the flame to the shock tools, but it's still low in health already. The shock tools should be able to finish off. There we go. And the driver got. Oh, the gun attack got sent flying away there. Assault then named it in the pop. I got the machine course going to be a very formidable obstacle here for Jimmy to punch through. But he's got the T-70 out now. And again, I think he's in this regard quite fortunate that Elpen has not been mining at all. Because obviously, Elpen technically, that kind of mission surplus could be laying down a lot of telemines. Contra Mouise is against the Ostrobin in the east. They're finally moving out and then they get attacked out in the open. Supporma so call there. Connected push for a Panther Four pretty fast here. Jimmy definitely needs to do something about the fuel situation. And he will also need anti tank guns that are slightly bigger than that. Or he's going to need a lot of them. And I mean a lot of them. Open gun for a Panther Four at the 30 minute mark. Very good timing for that. Very good. Consolidating spread for the Mini 54. Awesome timing to finish them off. T70 is already being repaired up. So you're not the. Uh, most splashy impact there for Jimmy's T7 light tank is not quite having the impact on the German morale yet he might be have dreaming of. And he needs to have the minesweeper hoping the Germans mistake it for a flamethrower and run off and burst into flames. T7 here though, trying to get to clear out the west side. Gonna get Panther first, the extra range bullets and of course going to be handy for Elpen, it is only a very popular one. Basil savagely attacking my thumb. Jamming yeah, all of his claws into it and trying to bite it. Panther Force heading out there for Elpen to Deutschland, no pin option yet for that one. And still not what seems to be an awful lot of mines of any, from in fact either side. Jimmy's all time to throw the munitions. Panther for rolling head here, still only a light to tank another Jimmy's command here versus Alpha. Finally going for system division field gun. Gonna get pelted with two sides of tank grenades, damaging the Panther 4, though still gonna be closer to the line to tank and start doing some damage. 
the South Indian is caught by the M4. M10, they're trying to get each from the Panzer 4. Probably going to force it. Probably going to try and merge with it, I guess, to, like, you know, keep it at full strength here. Yes. Two thumbs up to Jimmy. Very nice there. Congratulations, men. You're now anti tank gunners. But they haven't received training. Just watch the others. But they don't know either. Well, just watch and hopefully you'll figure it out eventually. But that doesn't help. Just shoot, damn you. I'll have you shot. Field gun there for Jimmy. Grab the Eastern Carp point there, denying the access to the Eastern Field point. Carp point there being attacked by Germans under Elkhorn's commander, the Pioneer. And there's obviously not many other commands, you know. There'll obviously be issues with suddenly, like, you know, Ainsdon could suddenly sneak in, like, you know, with some pioneers as one start commanding them on the field. Shooting, forcing. Healing, repairing. Jimmy's starting a bit here again with Elpen. He's launched something a bit more successful in terms of counter attack scale. And I think he should actually put more effort into the east side of the map. Like, he's focusing too much on the west side where Elpen has really dug in. He's something where there's like two victory points, seems to be almost forgotten. It's also the sudden thing to imagine about Angle Vale before, like, you know, it got changed. It was actually the reverse. Most players would focus on the east side and forget about the west, but now that it's gotten reworked, most people only focus most on the west and tend to ignore the east. So, despite the east now, of course, still having two victory points. So. I don't find out, but again, I feel like Jimmy would probably you know, make much better progress here versus El Pony if we were to focus on the East rather than West so much. Still no bad machine in there, found himself under intense fire from the Soviets. Forcing in the way there in the East here, we got the Contra Cuts from the Austrian awesome squad there. Got the Eastern Victory Point there, on the Northeastern. Using the fire there, didn't try to lay down mines, probably not, if it would be dead, he's screwed anyways. But get wiped out, there's still a machine gun there for help, and he's got tons of munitions, but continues to be hesitant to expend it. And tanks running back there, T-70 as well. No further check there for Jamie. Elf can actually soon go for another pencil shot, because the pencil is the pencil that looks like we cut off the bomb grenade first, doing some nice damage, almost wiping out the shock troopers. Something here for Jimmy. Got it on the pantalon, snapping out some poor bastard. What's him going for the T7? Grand Lucian fuel point. Can't stop the T7 light tank, both fuel points are back on the control of Jimmy. But with no immediate way of exploiting this, that's less great. An elephant? Is he going for tier 4 here? No, he just really seemed like it. I'm really not having the idea he had more fuel than he did and spent only a bit of it, which would of course be KT4, but that was apparently my imagination. Now the Panzer 4 there for open. Now the Panzer can find fear. Ground the points here, Far East, we've got any new squads in about. T some neat repairs, and of course, uh, Jimmy's meeting some big run. Of course, it might be here that El Jimmy's plan to go for the KB2 here versus open. It is not something you can rule out entirely. Kind of one of the two there, slowly getting ready for Elpen and for Deutschland. Austrian attack in the country here and routing them successfully. Very good. But yeah, Jimmy continues to like insert most of the into where most of Elpen's guns are actually sighted, which makes it a lot easier for Elpen to defend. There we go, second pen for the ready for Elpen for Deutschland. Austin was the conscript here, and you need to finally grab these munitions. Looks like Jimmy remembered they existed. Pen to four, they're heading eastward. Still, none of them are upgrade machine guns. He's starting to flood almost 400 munitions. Good hit from the end to take that there, though. And he uses the pioneers backed up by the T 70 here. Definitely retreat there for Elpen. Now we got a. Uh, Large armor assault here from Elpen, though only armor, no infantry support. Though thankfully for Elpen, there's no mines down from Jimmy and there's no entertainment in the vicinity. Let's bring up, like, you know, anything else. No tech yet done either. They did get a manage to damage it in the Panzer 4. Had a landing a shot there, but ultimately not an impressive shot since it didn't do barely any damage. Ground the Western fuel point again. 
We got Fiend 67 to 257. Shock is being hammered into the ground here by Elkman's Panzer IV. And Stengs being able to deal with the Panzer IV. He's attempt to. He's on top of the Ostrom and the Pack 40 gets destroyed. A stinging blow there to Jimmy who is still yet to take out. Mimo Pernet is he? Yeah, he's now going for planning tier 4 it seems. Also opens up the light machine guns to the Ostrom. And he's throwing them some better firepower there. I think they'd hand them something like older, like an MG-34, maybe like some captured weapons from the Soviets. Or the Brits, or any for other armor, really, rather than hand them MG-42s. I know for Relic Sage and the convenience, but, you know, they could have still stuffed them some other weapons on them. Since typically, you know, 3rd to 4th Brit infantry like the Austrian would not have been equipped like, you know, with, like, the finest weapons the German army had. Quite the opposite. They would have gone with those, like, you know, about stocks, which would have likely been, well, you know, Bren guns or, well, Soviet DP light machine guns, really. Fun fact there. Pack one about here for open. American Ice Armor Company are finally happening there for Jimmy. But he may need another entertainment here versus open. Eastern side was claimed once more here by Elpen. Jim not responding much again. He's still focusing heavily on the west center here. Enemy west center, but in the west side of the map. He's focusing down the line of the shock, pushing the machine cleared out there, perhaps. Double end center in the Panda 4 doing some damage there, pushing down to almost half health. Falls away there, Elpen's Panzer of Valfur. Shock in the front of the Panda, punching to jump with that. There we go, good hit. Panzer going to be getting ready to charge through the smoke to surprise the soldiers with a nice spun grenade. There we go, right into the midst of it, causing a bit of damage, gaining a little very good, but there's a lot of soldiers nearby. The Panzer really is start to drop there like sacks of potatoes thrown from the 10th floor. Ow, Vessel, ah, ow, my shoulder, Vessel, I need that. Ow. Panzer going forth there. Got an artillery strike in the into sand guns. Just got it. Ow. Remove Basil's claws from my shoulder. There we go. Shot fire. Good hit on the Panda 4 there. Though it looks like he's going to have to just line to tank gun. And going for T-34 from 6 here. For the glory of the Red Army. Pack 40 being top there. Not any sync there from the Panda 4. We've seen that friend come through further ahead here. Field can advance, they've almost got hit there by a railway artillery strike. That'd been pretty painful there for Jimmy Hat that happened. He might even lost the entertainment entirely, not named recruit. Panther the dust looked like it does escape here. Did actually get one of the Panther Force, which is pretty good there for Jimmy. Pretty good. Back here in open space, while he does have the tech, he's yet to slice it. We've also not seen any light machine guns in the Ostrom yet. Perhaps suddenly they're not worth the munitions. Please, can we have some more fascist weapons? Nine! You guys don't know how to use them properly anyways. It's the last time he bought you anything, he smelled of vodka and poison berries. T-54 goes out there. Field in the way there for Jimmy, another assist three. Pack 40 being hold back. East side finally seen some action. We've got two awesome squad, uh, awesome squad and an MD34. Manned by Austin, we found the east side, but again, he could consider maybe a machine gun bunker too. Punter find the cover vanishing right before their very eyes as the T34 shatters it. Like a very surly magician. Austin wants the conscripts. Forcing and healing. Field gun setting out. T54 pulling back. We got Fiend 59 to 205. Standing like machine guns there. Shock from the now making a hard push into East. The Elpens, Ostrom there. Standard chance. But there you go. Nice time going to now. Field gun very much puts a hard stop here to Jimmy's assault. As they're met with a vicious fusillade of the machine gun fire there. And he's got no meat. troops can actually exploit this. He's going to like outmaneuver the heavy with a tank. West side here, Alpen is now being able to just grab the entire west side there freely. But again, if Jim were to grab the east side, I think he'd be able to get away with it, particularly you know, gets the other victory for the game. Machine gun there finds her falling very shortly against the T-34 from 6 head on. 
I'm not supposed to be with Dazzle. Why do you bite my hand? Pantiful rushing in. And you've been almost wiped out. Close button as a guard. Another push in the west here though by Jimmy. Seems like he can't help himself. The brain says east, but the heart says west apparently when it comes to Jimmy. Pantiful landing us in the shock troops. Grab these some pointed with the conscripts. Shock troops coming into the ground here, but they need two. Hit from the field, it's down to half health. Contrast the Oslo in the west, Grand Leeson Fumble of the Conscripts, digging in there. Jim Elpenian conceding a bit of ground in the face of Jimmy. He's also done the heavy panzer call. We should see what it goes for. Probably though, a strong panzer fear. Almost got the machine in there with the field gun bombardments. S mines going off there, killing a few. Perhaps at least doing some damage. Enforcing, keep it heading east westwards. Got these in fuel point. We've got 350 numbers under 65. Come back the machine gun, kills some poor bastards, sends the rest running. Kills another poor bastard, <laughs> sends the rest running. Ace Panzer reinforced with 21 kills. Bungnate in the conscript, not the way strength. Oh, he took the bait and retreats straight into the grenade. Doesn't suffer an entire wipe though. That's really lucky there for Jimmy. That is a bit awkward there for Elfram. Does indeed go for the Storm Panzer Fear here. Emil seems like Jimmy's playing the KD2. Clearment for this of two heavy tank. Apparently never really saw that much production and it's also very difficult to find out how they're actually organized, how much use they actually saw. I mean obviously that's an odd sized uh, effect in the early stage of the war, but even they weren't like made large numbers and it had their issues back then as well. But anyway, Stone Panzer be almost done the open. West side here we got the punishment against the engineers. Hands coming westwards. Gaining message one there. Mine's up here for Jimmy. Close to his base in case of raid there by Elpen. And the Germans. Grand Eastern points here, very good. Should also move up Grand Eastern victory point, but there you go. Strong Panzer Fiat there for Elpen. Could choose your rocket launch for Jimmy. Guess we're not seeing the KB2 after all. Guess we're not seeing a KB2 after all. Not that I'm particularly disappointed in that. Still no pinlock machine does armor. Elpen does not seem to be a big machine gun on armor believer. Nope, cancelled it for initiative fire. I think that's response to the Storm Panzer Fear, which the Katusha admittedly would have a hard time dealing with. As it's not infantry, but you know, fairly heavy armor. Chuck on the wiped out. Tifa coming in here. It should have felt halfway done. Shock two as well. Shock trooper survives. Ready to reconstitute the rest of the squad, but he's going to have to do it on his own as the others aren't quite dead. Jammed in from the Panda 4. Issue 5 almost done there for Jimmy. We got Finn for 255. Jimmy remains in a bit of an awkward spot. They're partly again, I think, due to O emphasis on the left side. Well, on the east side, I think we might get a focus here for Jimmy's jump. Panda there blasting away there. Issue 5 has arrived here for Jimmy. The Soviet Union. We are as ready as we can be. Edge from the Shrine Waste, gun, penetrating into the Strong Panzer Fear. On the west side here, pushed there by Jimmy against Elpen's left flank, which is currently a bit like less like defensive than the to hold and hold eastwards. Then I hit finish to five, Storm Panzer 4, rushing ahead here to just this turn. Turn, keep on the west side, Austin awesome, in trouble there, could find their positions completely compromised. They go for treatment machine, also in trouble, getting those in fuel point there through the best minefield. Machine and there being blasted by the T 54 from 6, as you find me westwards fast. Storm Panzer up the supporting attack here on the car point, sneaky Elpen, thumbs up to that, too, in fact. 
Almost got the awesome machine gun. I was actually the, not the awesome machine gun. It's there. Swinging attack here by L Punch. Storm Punch back up with the two pack forge. Comes what they're taking us hit. Awesome push further pushing ahead here for the calf points. Field jump to Storm Punch with a turn hit. Getting a bit dicey, a bit excited here between Elfin and Jimmy. Can't come truck from him there. Anti tank grenade off these Storm Punch here for the shock. Who took themselves a heavy hit from the Storm Punch's gun. Suffering critical damage. Awesome round. H5 could perhaps pursue the Storm Punch to destroy it. Field gun moving ahead here and does not ultimately pursue. Missing up perhaps an opportunity to take it out. We got Railway Tiller though. And he might be using such a man to take a potential retreat here. Or calling it on the car point there. Cheeky, cheeky Elfin. T-34 there, stunned. T-34 knocked out a stinging blow there to Jimmy. At the same time, can't grab the car for that because it's under heavy fire by German Railway Artillery. The Germans certainly were prolific users of armored trains, in part because they also captured a lot from the Soviets. I think the Poles would repurpose them. In some cases, they even like repurpose old tanks to use as armor train components. Fun fact. It's from the Pants 4, almost taken out there. And they also have large, I would say, flat trains, which is basically long train systems with lots of flat guns mounted on them. Fun fact. Now, Bessel seems to have crawled up under my left arm. Comes with the awesome on the west side. We got 1542 on 18. Another T fit force of somewhere for Jimmy. Ben Gisney got the 42 They're holding up fine. We got five kills on them. Ace level. Shot fire. And he is pinned down to the ground there. Screaming for help, but no help is coming. It seems here from Jimmy on the west side. Finally continues the awesome dropping like flies. A fat flies. Storm Punch is just watching the engineers inside the building, waiting for the right time to shoot. There we go, so that's fine. Got the field guns on the Storm Punch so far. None of them penetrating there. Go third shot, lost the champ. Fourth, also, apparently a bit lucky there. Panzer Bear for Elpen. Clearly worried about uh, Jimmy's armor. Too much. One grenade here. Oh, Brian Smith's a shock trooper. Only dust damage, though. And the shock to snack almost get taken up, but the Panzer will exult to force the retreat here. Panzer will halfway done for Elpen. Still might keep the buttons, about to lose the engineer squad. And there we go, entire building collapses, shattering and crushing the engineers inside. As tons of house just falls down upon them. Still part of the engineer switch. Good hit from the Storm Punch for the Camp Skips, landing a devastating hit. They're leaving the rest of the squad a bit surprised and uh, traumatized. Almost got the Panzer IV there with a few hits from the field guns, but in the end, Elpen does hold the Panzer IV to safety so they can repair it. Eastern victory point not seized. We've got 350 37 versus 96. Elpen's lead continues to be very strong as yes, Jimmy just. Oh, got the Panzer IV! That was awkward. Apparently, wasn't expecting that one. Don't worry, Jürgen! The optics are quite scheiße. What about that guy? He's got binoculars. I think it's a German. Oh, scheiße. Get boom. Yeah. That was less good there for uh, Elfin. Awesome round it. Storm on the con skips. Fun fact about this. The search are actually known for like tank doctor not specifically like not having them poke out to peek out their stuff in fact german tank crews were actually very commonly riding around with the commander part peeking out there for increased line of sight the germans actually put much more awareness of this than the safety of the tank commander fun fact fun fact conflict being suppressed awesome as the shock troopers Another fun fact is the German crews didn't use crash helmets, like they had sort of a crash helmet for right at the start of the war, but apparently everyone just thought it was stupid, they just wear caps, maybe helmets, but uh, not crash helmets, so German tank crews didn't have a higher rate of concussion compared to, say, you know, 
well, ones with the crash helmets. There was alternation, but the British tank, tank crews did not use them either. So head injuries were quite common there amongst the German and uh, British tank crews. I'm assuming so tank crews had less issues with that, but at the same time, so tank crews tended to die for a lot of other reasons. <laughs> Anyways, Grand Eastern Pond with us, MD and the Panzer Grenadiers. We got 333 versus 88. Panzer Earth again being turned here by Alpha. I imagine to be a bit more careful with the second one now, though. But it looks like just driving to get shot to bits. Hey, Panzer Call, cool. there's almost got the Panzer Earth ready. Still feel like Jimmy needs to focus on the east side around the west side here versus Elpen, but again, it really seems to like the west side. It really seems to like it. You are showing weakness. We are down to 75 points. 75 points left. It certainly makes it weirder when he's got so few victory points left, he's still focused on the side of the map that has fewer of them. Fans moving up there, still approaching the C3. Comes up the flank, got the machine in there, back up, lost on the push here from Elfin, very good. Second punch of ready, and there you go, to get to fire a barrage and not get shot to bits by so tank destroyer. There you go, pushing these up, I'm gonna tank them up, I'm moving some tank swords and other stuff. Machine opening the console there, pinning down. Also, there, a pencil opening to flank up and cover up the machine gun's flank, two people rushing from the front though. Still leaves a small force to catch the west side. That promise us field guns, which are now currently quite exposed here. Two Elpen's armor. There you go. Looks like both field guns moving down here, which is going to be a disastrous blow to Jimmy. And the red arm. There you go. One field and crew already exterminated. H5 of the return here. East side here. T4. Got the machine gun. Pants for being dropped the ground. Leaves the victory point back here. The Conscore is hitting the wrong side of the cover. Meanwhile, here, Pants for going for the H5 backing off, though. H5 down to half health as well. Getting a bit dicey in there we go. Panzer Squad there, cleared out the conscripts. Finally moving on the southern point. Need to use the T-34 to grab the point here. We got 333, this is 47. Pack's falling a bit back here. Take them out. Machine gun abandoned. Could be grabbed here by human turn against Elpen. Building collapse there. Ostroming forwards and meeting abandoning the point. Hasn't used the T-54 to get the point because it can't even move to do elsewhere. Seems like Jimmy's starting to uh, suffer under straining of open repeated attacks. Quite grievously. T-54 versus the Ostrom here. Slowly shooting them to bits. Cross them down to four man. Three man. Further being shot to bits here. Down to one man. And white. No man. Aha. Mishrap taking hit here from the pack 40s. Pants on to our dart. It should further gain the ace level. Got another pants level with it. And then loses it still. That's not half bad, I guess. But at this point, I think Jimmy's completely out of the match. He's got 17 points left. That's the point of 33. And his forces are just bleeding out in comparison to Elprim. Two teams from the pack 40s, down to half health already as expected. Almost got it there, shot to be routed. Fresh T-34 there for Jimmy, we got 12 points left. And there you go, GG game over. Finally, Jimmy decided now it's lost. So there you go, hope you got this match, hope you learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment, on it, tell friends, tell a family, don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Links and Cheers. Thank you for watching, I'll show you tomorrow again for a nice episode. Bye.